Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about delete record using Ajax. In the last two video, we have seen how to insert and update record using Ajax. Now let's see how can we delete the record using Ajax. So for that, switch to the project and uh, just open student.blade.php file. So just go inside the resources, then views. And from here, just open a student dot dot php file and uh, inside this table uh, let's create a new link so just write here a tag href is equal to javascript colon void and just add here zero add here the uh, button class so just write here class btn btn tensor add here the text delete all right and uh, now save this file and let's check so just refresh the page and you can see here the delete link all right now go to the student controller so just click on f HTTP controllers and just open a student controller and inside this controller let's create a function for deleting the record so just write here public function and function name let's say function name is delete student and here just pass a parameter dollar id and inside this just write here a student is equal to a student colon colon find and just add here dollar id all right then a student and just call the delete function so just write here arrow delete and now just return uh, a response a response as a json so just write here json and add here an array inside this JSON and just write here success arrow add here the message okay just write here record has been deleted all right now save this file and and let's create the route for this function so just go to the routes and just open web.php and here just write route delete and add here the uri as students slash uh, just add here the parameter id then controller name and student controller colon colon class Add here the function name which is uh, this one delete a student so just copy and paste here now save this file now go to the student uh, students.blade.php file and uh, inside this file on the bottom let's create a javascript function so just write here a script tag and inside this script tag just a function here so just write here function and function name delete this student and just pass here the id and inside this just add here if confirm add here a message do you want do you really want to delete record all right if yes then just call the ajax so just write here dollar ajax and uh, inside this just add here the url which uh, url which is this one uh, students 
and just pass here the ID okay so just write here slash students and Uh, just write here concatenation sign id and here just type uh, just write here type delete okay also add the data so just write your data and inside this just pass a token so just write your token is equal to colon sign dollar input type is uh, input name is equal to underscore open all right and just call here the val function and after this success if success then just add here a callback function and inside this response All right. After uh, deletion, just remove the uh, table row, deleted row. So, what is the ID? Table row ID. ID is is ID and the student ID. Okay. So, for removing the row, just write here dollar as is ID and just concatenate the student ID. Okay. So, just write here ID and call the remove function all right and now just call this function on button click so inside this uh, delete button uh, delete link just add here on click and just uh, paste here the function name delete the student and inside this just pass here the student id just write here double curly bracket dollar is student arrow id all right now it's done so let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page all right now let's uh, delete this record so just click on this link uh, do you really want to delete the, uh, the record just click on ok and you can see record deleted ok now delete this record so just click on this delete button ok and record deleted all right so in this way you can delete record using ajax in laravel 8 so that's all about delete record using ajax so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.